Hello guys, this is Sonu Sharma and welcome back to Unity Dev Tutorial. So today what we'll be doing is we'll be making a path follower script and applying it to our object. Why am I making this video? Because I got a lot of comment that I want a path follower tutorial, path follower tutorial. So here this is for those who want path follower tutorial. So let's get started. So first of all we need a plane uh, that is simple because if you have already watched my earlier videos you might be uh, came to know that uh, how to make an object, how to make a plane. So let's do it. Uh, okay. For those who are watching my this video first time, I will explain them as well. Go to game object, go to 3D objects, and take a plane. Now what we want, we want a path follower script. That is basically what we want. Is we want our game object to follow a particular path all the time. So let's do it. Now first of all, I would like to make it to 0 0 so you can take it whatever you want I am taking it 0 0 because it's easy for us to understand what the position of the plane is and I want a game object that is a cube because I want this cube to follow a particular path so what we'll be doing is we'll be writing a script today and uh, make this game object follow a particular path now here you can see this gizmos gizmos here I'll tell you why I'm talking about these gizmos in the script when I write ok so let's do it now right click on your project panel create a C sharp script I will name it path follower you can name it whatever you want that's your choice path follower Let's open it. Yeah, here it is. So first of all, what we want, we want want a particular path, right? So we'll be setting a path over here. So let's do it. And how much positions and how much uh, points you want that cube to follow, you'll have to specify it. So let's do it here. I will like a public variable public transform yes I will like to have a transform public transform path second thing we will be needing the speed of the movement so public public speed which is a float. float you can specify the speed or you can do it when you see in the inspector panel at the runtime as well so I will keep it 5.0f and we want a reach distance because we want this cube this cube to be at a particular point then we'll have to calculate the distance between this and this and the next point which we'll be taking so let's do it first of all this should also be public why am I taking it public because if I want to change the position I will if I want to change the reach distance towards that point I can change it dynamically whenever I want distance which is 1.0f and also the current position we also want that cube to be at a particular distance so at that time we want that cube to calculate its current position so let's do it public int current position that is current point I can say So let's do it for the gizmos. So I on draw gizmo. Now this gizmo function unity has inbuilt. 
so if path length path dot length is greater than zero we want it to draw a sphere right? you can take cube as well if you want we want to make take it as sphere okay let's go for end i equals to 0 i less than part dot length But then, then I plus plus. Always showing an error before and i is equal to zero and i is in path dot length. It is not taking path dot length. Check it out. Path dot length yes. The i plus plus. Okay, if but oh, I that is our array is not equal to null. Right? If the path is not equal to null, we'll be specifying. It should draw a gizmo. Gizmos. Gizmos. Dot draw. Draw sphere. Towards the path, right? Path. Out of i dot position tell the reach distance reach distance so now this will create our gizmo so after that what we'll have to do is we'll have to Define the direction of the movement of that cube. So let's go to update. Um, we let's first attach the script. Right. Go to that cube and attach the script. Yeah. Okay, now let's write the script. We want vector direction. So that will be vector 3. Direction of that cube. So which is equal to path dot. Path, what path it is. If it is a current position or it is some other position. So we will have to define the current point. That position minus. Now we'll have to minus that position and we'll have to move from that point to other point. So that is why I'm taking it minus transform position.
the other one is what that transform position is so let's define that as well transform transform dot position plus equals direction into time dot delta time into speed time dot delta time into speed so it will be moving towards that transform position with the speed which will be specified so this is the speed which we have specified it here so now we will set the conditions for this so if the direction magnitude magnitude is less than reach distance then what it should do if the direction magnitude is less than reach distance it should increase the current point so we will increase the current point here current point plus plus and if the current point is greater than part dot length so what it should do the current point is greater than equal to part dot length then what it should do is it should set that current position is equal to zero so let's make it let's make the current point to zero zero this now we haven't specified the path yet so what we'll do I'll take an empty game object here wait I saw an error I think yeah okay forget about that right click and create an empty object and just name it as directions right create empty object here as well Name it as one. And uh, now you can duplicate it with the uh, Control D. Two. Again, Control D. And then three. Wait, 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 it's not taking gizmos. I think we have an error here. So, first of all, let's do just make it. So, make the transform one. Yeah, okay, yeah. So sorry, I just forgot to mention that the gizmo is not visible to our game scene but it is visible in the scene in which we are creating so don't worry if you can see it there so this is our third so let's move it oh yeah yes so let's move it to some point let this be here and let's just be somewhere around here and this be somewhere around here so let's play it and check. Hit play. Now you can see that this cube is moving towards these points which we have specified. Let me minimize it. Yes, you can see this in the game scene here that it is moving to these cubes. Moving to these cubes. So what we see is this this cube is moving towards every point it is moving in fast direction then whenever it reaches to that point it slows down
so this was how you can make it you can name this points whatever you want you can take as much point as you can like uh, if i duplicate it here let's make it four here okay let me do this three over here this is three so and this is four so this is four yeah this is four so let's make this point here and we just have to we have to drag it here we have to define it here at the fourth point so this will be our fourth point here so let's play and check i will not maximize it so that you can see this here and you can see that it is moving towards all that point here you can see that now why it is not moving here because it is going towards the first point so this is first this is second this is third and this is fourth again back to the first point so this is how it will be moving uh, let me get out of this place scene so this was a simple path follower script which we which i have sh shown you so basically if you want to implement it in some game where you just want that path or an object to be following the same path with that speed or whatever you want you can set your current point here as well like suppose i want to set my current point here i'll set it one let's see so my current point is one there you can see that you can see the changes here let me make it zero so yeah basically i was telling you that if you can you you want to implement it in any game 2d or 3d you just need to write the script down and apply it so thank you for watching and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and like my channel thank you so much have a good day